nothing beats a good mystery like an equally compelling discovery. Comets, asteroids, and meteorites have crashed perhaps millions of times over the Earth's history, yet they still continue to shape and inform our knowledge of our planet and the universe. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three stories of interesting meteorite discoveries. The Strange Stone In 1908, a Canadian newspaper article detailed an amazing story of a meteorite that might have contained evidence of alien life. The article stated, Willie McKinnon, the 14-year-old son, of Mr. Angus McKinnon underwent a most startling experience and had witnessed a miraculous event last Thursday. The article goes on to state that whilst working in his father's garden, Willie saw a meteor fall from the sky and embed into the ground just eight feet away from where he was standing. The meteor was around ten inches wide and reached McKinnon's garden at roughly half past eleven. Apparently, the meteor created a noise that was heard for a number of minutes before it reached the Earth. Thinking that the sound was simply coming from a nearby train, Willie thought nothing of the noise until the impact caused something similar to a small earthquake on the ground he was standing on. The boy was naturally greatly alarmed at the occurrence and rushed into the house to acquaint his parents with the very strange happening, the article said. On visiting the spot, it was found that the meteor was intensely hot, and not for over half an hour could it be handled. This is where the story begins to make eyebrows raise. According to the article, the meteor appeared to be scored with what appears to be hieroglyphics. It was later reported that the Department of Mines Geological Survey in Ottawa sought to gain more information from Willie and his family in regard to the apparent meteoric impact, and sent Willie a questionnaire requesting answers to various aspects of the crash site. The questionnaire also included an offer to buy the meteorite, if an agreement could be reached. However, it is not known if this ever took place. Apparently, Willie's father, Angus McKinnon, had a reputation as an argumentative man. The truth behind the mysterious stone that fell into the McKinnon garden seems to have been lost to history. Michigan man discovers his barn doorstop is actually a meteorite worth $100,000. In your home, there are many objects that slowly become part of the furniture. Whether it's a dusty chair or an old picture frame, there are probably dozens of inconspicuous things hiding where you live. This story was a familiar one to a man from Michigan who, in 2018, miraculously discovered that the two-pound lump of rock that had been used to prop open a barn door for more than 30 years was, in fact, a meteorite. The meteorite is thought to have landed at some point in the 1930s at a farm located in Edmore, Michigan. The man who discovered the space rock came into its possession after he bought the farm at an auction in 1988. But it wasn't until 2018 that the true nature of the rock was discovered, after bringing the rock to the Central Michigan University for study. The rock was placed into the care of Mona, a professor of geology. While the professor had been given plenty of rocks in the past by members of the public, the professor could never have expected what discovery lay ahead. After an inspection, Mona quickly discovered that the meteorite is in fact the sixth largest ever found in the state of Michigan and could be valued at $100,000. She went on to speak about the find from a statement made by Central Michigan University. I could tell right away that this was something special. It's the most valuable specimen I have ever held in my life, monetarily and scientifically. When the man who brought the rock for study originally bought the farm in 1988, he was initially told by the previous owner that they had seen the rock fall from the heavens during the 1930s. According to the ex-owners of the farm, the rock made a hole upon impact, and when they went to find the rock the next morning, it was still warm. After the farm was sold to the current owner, the rock went on to become a doorstop for the next 30 years. But after people in Michigan began to discover meteorites in January 2018, the owner wondered if the claims of meteoric character of his own specimen were true. By using X-ray and fluorescent technology, Mona discovered that the rock is made up of roughly 88% iron and a remaining 12% nickel, which is a metal that is not found in abundance on Earth. 
After sending a sample of the rock to the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C., experts studied the rock and confirmed Mona's suspicions that it was in fact a meteor. Another sample was also sent off to John Wasson, a professor in the Earth, Planetary and Space Sciences Department at the University of California, Los Angeles. Often described as the guru of iron meteorites, Wasson went on to conduct several inspections and measurements to help identify the meteorite's chemical composition. Meteorites are bits of debris caused by breakage of larger comets and asteroids. They are pulled in by the Earth's orbit, mostly breaking up in the Earth's atmosphere before colliding with the ground. Larger impacts are not too common, but thousands of smaller meteors, like the 30-year-old doorstop, hit the surface every year. These rocks are like time capsules for our solar system as well as the universe as a whole. By studying space debris, scientists get a better understanding of our place in the universe. Mona stated, Just think, what I was holding is a piece of the early solar system that literally fell into our hands. Scientists claim to have found the first known extraterrestrial protein in a meteorite. This year, researchers were happy to discover that we may have uncovered a vital clue that points towards life elsewhere in our solar system. By using new techniques in analysis and research, scientists believe that they could have found a type of extraterrestrial protein that was hidden in the middle of a meteorite that fell to Earth only 30 years ago. If the findings are accurate, then this would mean that it is the first ever protein that did not come from Earth to ever be discovered. Over the last number of years, researchers have come across a number of meteorites and other bits of space debris that have shown to hold elements and materials that belong to what we consider to be the fundamental building blocks of life. These materials include ribose, amino acids, as well as cyanide, and this specific discovery showed signs that the meteor held amino acids. The research team was led by the physicist Malcolm McGeoch, who works for the X-ray source supplier Plex Corporation, and they aimed their search in discovering vital life-building materials in meteorites. By using complex, modern examination techniques, the team discovered what they believed to be a protein string in the meteorite known as ACFA-086. The apparent discovery of protein within the meteor that was originally found in 1990 it is just one more part of the growing tapestry of evidence of life outside of our own planet. An astronomer and chemist of CSIRO Astronomy and Space Science in Australia who didn't work on the project said, In general, they're taking a meteor that has been preserved by a museum and has been analysed previously, and they are modifying the techniques that they're using in order to be able to detect amino acid inside of this meteor but in a higher signal ratio. To summarise the team's findings, the research results showed that the glycine amino acid found in the meteorite was bound to other elements like iron and lithium. What they ultimately found was that glycine wasn't isolated from the protein but was part of it. This new type of protein was dubbed protein hemolithin. While protein hemolithin is similar to proteins found on Earth, it's not exactly similar to anything found terrestrially here on Earth. All of this news and research helps to suggest that the structure the team found is actually a protein with an origin outside of Earth, possibly formed in the protosolar disk over 4.6 billion years ago. But what do you make of these interesting meteorite discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.